so strangely enough i've spoken to a lot of people and while everybody talks about what little they have learned of gati shakti nobody quite knows as and that's why you asked the question not everybody knows the width and depth of gati shakti right let's take a step backwards what used to happen in earlier years in earlier years you used to set up a hydro power plant in the northeast and in the process of development the power plant the the dam is ready the water body is ready and then you find that there is no the transmission, transmission line there, yeah. in many cases there not even a road to build a power plant you set up a renew large renewable power plant uh, re- renewable facility in rajasthan and there is no evacuation transmission line right you set up a major port or even a minor port and there is no road connectivity to even take a large container load of a truck so there are innumerable cases where projects were set up in isolation without the appropriate linkages it has it was also very difficult in network infrastructure to look at alignment let us say you are doing you are doing the delhi mumbai road or the delhi amritsar jammu katra road it has to cross rivers it has to cross railway lines it has to bypass reserve forests habitation cities etc there wasn't very clear mechanism of alignment it was like yesterday's people would go and stand and survey the land and that kind of stuff so there was and projects were also suggested in isolation that somebody the ministry of ports and shippings would say i would like to build a port there without great thought on connectivity and ministry of roads would say i am building a national highway that passes 50 kilometers from that port but doesn't touch the port so there wasn't synergistic convergent thinking therefore these were the ills what is gati shakti gati shakti is nothing but a very complex software program developed by an central government institution called bisag which is located between amdavad and gandhinagar bisag is a very specialized institution under the ministry of information technology and their specialization is in using satellite based technologies to achieve interlinkages and that kind of stuff on the ground so what has bisag designed gati shakti to start with is a layer of software which is layer by layer right think of a cake with different layers each layer represents an infrastructure linkage so going below the ground are water pipeline gas pipelines optic fiber on the ground is roads Road. rail top is electricity lines right on top are probably even satellites orbits so gati shakti is a massive software program that has layers of infrastructure linkages and what are the and what are they linked to they are linked to economic clusters take a city like kanpur if you want to build a new industrial park in kanpur or around that area then gati shakti will tell you in each layer what are the linkages required bijli pani road rail electricity broadband so it provides at one shot a holistic development of a project so that it is not left orphaned after development simultaneously when a ministry or a department is putting up a proposal right for a rail link or a road link or a power plant then the the current practice is that gati shakti has a group of dedicated trained officers called the national planning group okay okay and the your project should pass through the gati shakti system to get a tick mark to see that all linkages have been cleared and if those linkages are not cleared then finance is not going to approve or the cabinet committee of uh, economic affairs is not going to sanction a big project unless all linkages are not only established but are found to be viable and taken care of right so now this is what gati shakti is in simple terms somebody who is a software expert will give you a more complicated answer sure. but this is what it achieves it is a it's a completely different way of managing the development of infrastructure in the country not only at the construction development stage but but also at the monitoring stage when the implementation is underway ki kitna completion hua so this interlinkage play is like the veins of a body 
you are then seeing a project holistically in terms of all linkages and in its ability to service multiple needs. I am not aware of any other country that does its infrastructure development planning as scientifically and as methodically now as India has started to do with the machines.